What's going on there guys? Good evening, Earthmaster here uh, once again on the live stream uh, with an update video on this uh, Tuesday evening. February 15, 2022 is the date, about 6.25 it looks like, p.m. California time. Latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and check this out here. It is a 2.8 looks like into the northern uh, northern California region right there. Let's go ahead and check out this activity popping up there on the globe here on the flat scale model. See that movement up around the uh, Redding area. 19.5 kilometers below, surf, uh, below the surface there. Pretty uh, pretty deep earthquake. This here is the northern end of the Sacramento Valley, right around the Trinity Mountains. Of course, Mount Shasta sits well up here to the north. This activity definitely not uh, associated with it. I believe this is a subduction zone quake or some activity relevant to the trimmer uh, map. We'll go ahead and check out uh, that activity real quick while we're on top of it. Do, 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 here on the trimmer map. There we go. There we go. Looks like a little bit of increase in trimmer activity here in the northern California region. Of course, trimmer activity uh, tends to build up pressure not only back here along the locked area and areas here to the west, but also we can see some uh, further surface quaking uh, in the vicinity of all these mountains and whatnot. Of course, uh, uplift and whatnot, creating all these mountains over time. And uh, that's kind of what we're seeing right there around the northern end of the Sacramento Valley, right around the... Uh, the uh, areas around the Trinity Mountains. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some other activity out here in California. Some movement kicking up out here south of the Clear Lake area around the geysers. Things kind of ramping up here over the last 24 hours within that region. Uh, also some activity here just to the west or to the east of this cluster area around the geyser region. Uh, movement along the San Andreas Fault as well north of Sacramento and the uh, creeping section quite a bit of movement along there as well uh, we have seen a little increase in activity out here we did in Nevada at a 4.7 earthquake around the Mina Nevada area northwest of Tonopah I was out here last year early last year looking at this region not a whole lot out here there's some ghost towns some old mining areas uh, so a lot of uh, a lot of uh, fault systems out here too a lot of unnamed faults but this i believe is from the earthquake that struck out here in 2019 the six point uh i believe six pointer or 6.5 somewhere around there that struck uh within this region back in 2019 aftershock sequences there in that area could continue for months years obviously years right uh, some further movement up along the eastern crest of the sierra nevada as well with a pretty good cluster of quakes stretching down from Carson City all the way down to the Antelope Valley area. Some microquakes. Most of this movement was not here earlier today during the update. Of course, that 4.7 hit uh, just a little bit after the update uh, this morning. Uh, so things were kind of quiet, but it uh, looks like a return of movement throughout uh, the interior part of the states uh, in Nevada region. Also, line of activity throughout the uh, state of Nevada. Northwest uh, of Las Vegas and northern part all seen some microquakes activity scattered out and about the desert regions of Nevada. Uh, no further movement up through the um, Utah area. It looks like maybe one over here around the Cedar, Utah. Actually, if you zoom in closer, there's a little cluster kicking up here. It looks like pretty shallow earthquake movement here at the surface. Uh, so this tells me very shallow earthquake activity with those depths right there, 1.5 and and uh, two kilometers um, into the uh, negative, indicating very surface uh, uh, rupture right there. 2.1, or a couple twos kicked in there, and some other small ones just to the outside of the uh, Cedar, Utah region. Uh, nothing going on in uh, Texas for the most part. A couple earthquakes there in the two range. I came across this article here. Of course, if you remember, uh, we do watch this area here around Pecos, Texas. That's this area right here. You do see a lot of swarming uh, and activity in this region of Texas in any given day. Today it looks pretty quiet. But this region here sees a lot of uh, earthquake activity. And I've always mentioned that it's got to do with uh, gas wells, injection wells, and whatnot. I came across this article here published last year uh, by Michael Manga. This is an article from the PNAS Network. 
And uh, looks like uh, yeah, March 29, 2021, they talk about widespread deep seismicity in the Delaware Basin, Texas, which is this area right here on the map. Um, is mainly driven by shallow wastewater injection. Of course, this article um, last year, but uh, I mean, I think we've known that for quite some time. There's a whole lot of complex information in here. And uh, I'm not going to go through and read all of these, but uh, show you guys here on this map the area in question uh, about Texas here. Kind of shows you over here, Western Texas, around the Pecos, Texas area. And the square is where this activity is at. Here it shows you the depth of the earthquakes and the uh, the multitudes of them and whatnot. Pecos, Texas sits right here on this map. Uh, looks like back in 2020, uh, there's a Minotone uh, 5.0 event that occurred. But either way, uh, earthquake activity contributed uh, and uh, happening mainly because of that wastewater injection there. It's a pretty cool article. I will um, keep this uh, in the link in the, uh, in the about video here. I'll include that here in the update video is what I'm trying to say. But there's, there's way too much here to read. Talks about all the sandstone. sandstone and uh, a bunch of different stuff. I'm not even joking. So if you guys got time, look at that. I'm not even going to read any of that. That's some complex information there. I think those mathematical calculations are way beyond what I'm able to figure out. Look at that. Not even sure what all those numbers mean. Uh, not into all that stuff. But uh, I'll include that in the video, folks. But today, look. Looking uh, pretty quiet on the all magnitudes map here in Texas. It's a good article to read, though. If you got time, I will include it. Uh, what else we got? Some further movement out here around St. John, uh, St. John's area. We've seen that uh, 5.0 strike out there this morning. No further activity since then. And it uh, looks like we're just kind of diminishing here in the activity as well. No further movement around the Puerto Rico area. Uh, these act, uh, this earthquake activity older from this morning. A couple earthquakes there into the Puerto Rico Trench and the southwest part of Puerto Rico. Looks like one new earthquake out here off the coast of El Salvador, a 4.4 into the middle america trench there and south america remains relatively quiet except for this 4.3 at 100 and, uh, 100.4 kilometers into the subduction zone here a couple new earthquakes popping up here on the map uh vanuatu area 4.6 155.5 what's all what's up with all these sequences of sequences of numbers recently things kind of kicking up uh kind of crazily there on the uh the uh, number sequences lately around me. Overall, though, Kermadec Trench, Tonga region, all pretty quiet. Not seeing a whole lot of movement here uh, in this region today. Uh, things actually look pretty quiet over here as well throughout the Indonesia area and the Philippine Plate, Taiwan, and uh, areas around the Mar Mariana Trench here. Just seeing a little bit of earthquake activity, nothing significant. So that kind of tells me right there we could see things popping off possibly along the west coast here or the south america region southeast flank looking pretty uh minimal not a whole lot of earthquake activity over the last 24 hours 16 earthquakes out here along the big island no significant swarming to report at the mona loa volcano currently uh let's see what else we got uh activity that was up here has disappeared of course past the 24 hour period along the Jan Mayan fracture zone out there. No further activity to report in that region. Alaska, though, seeing a little bit of activity stretching up uh, up around the Fairbanks area with the latest quake here southeast of Fairbanks, about 50 miles. Looks like a 2.0, pretty shallow earthquake there. And some further movement around the Cook Inlet, Anchorage area, and also over here into the Gulf of Alaska. This region, uh, what, which plate is this on? Oh, okay, 1.8, pretty shallow earthquake here, and a little earthquake out here along the Gulf of Alaska. Um, what's this? Uh, shear zone. It's in a 2.8 uh, earlier today at 30.3 kilometers. Uh, what else we got? Not a whole lot going on uh, for the most part. I mean, there's a whole lot going on along the West Coast, but nothing specifically major happening. Uh, a little bit of activity west of Helena up here in Montana. A couple small microquakes and also around the Yellowstone area. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone map here while we're at it. 
got a whole house full of kids. Well, not a house full of kids tonight, but uh, definitely got uh, a few kids here. Uh, so me and Missy, uh, Missy Mimi's would be kind of busy here. Off on the side, dealing with some fun uh, from the uh, from watching the kids here tonight. So I'm going to try to keep this a little on the short side, not too lengthy. Maple Creek, northwest corner of the Yellowstone Park. Still continues to see a little bit of activity over the last few hours with some distinct earthquake activity here showing up on the red spikes throughout the day today. All that activity, nothing spectacular, just a little bit of earthquake movement there along the northern, uh, northwestern part of the Yellowstone caldera there in Yellowstone, Wyoming. Uh, let's see here. Nothing really going on on the East Coast. I'm just kind of wondering about this. I'm right at the Sacramento River, but it's deep, 19 kilometers. So it's got to be with the, uh, the trimmer activity that's occurring up there tonight. Uh, Canada, Earthquakes Canada map. What's going on here? Look at this activity up here. The USGS does not show this movement. I'm not for sure why. Of course, and again, below the 3.4 threshold. If you remember, uh, last night we seen a pretty significant uptick in trimmer out here along the Vancouver Island ranges. And we're still seeing continued backbuilding of pressure here uh, off the coast of the Vancouver Island ranges here with a 3.4. Uh, the last quake here on the globe happening a little bit earlier today and also some further movement up here at the northern end of the um let's see that's kind of right around the cascadia subduction zone just to the west of it on the explorer plate up here um specifically on the cascadia there was that one 4.0 this one occurring back uh in the uh february 12th time frame it looks like USGS, I don't think they were, I don't think they reported that one. Rest of Canada, some movement up north and a little bit of activity out here around the Quebec area with, uh, looks like a 2.7, the latest uh, quake in that region happening earlier, uh, earlier, way earlier this morning in that area. Uh, solar weather still, uh, I think they had a couple flares today, M1.3, I believe. M1.3. Since then, things kind of mellowing out. Uh, still a little threat of some flaring from the departing sunspots up here. This is the one right here that kind of popped it off. Earth side sun flares or uh, sunspots at the moment. Uh, these kind of look like they're dimming down a little bit. Almost have to use the magnifier to see the uh, activity out here. 2946 looking a little on the wimpy, wimpy side. 2948 gaining a little bit of strength down here. Uh, but nothing... Uh, Nothing really significant at the moment, so. All right, folks, uh, have a good night out there. Stay safe. Uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Make sure you guys subscribe. Still seeing uh, uh, quite a bit of non-subscribers -subs here on the view count, uh, so make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can get notified when we go live or when we um, post update videos. Are looking at uh, potentially... Uh, a trip here to Mount St. Helens pretty soon with Missy Mimi's. Uh, but I don't want to get up there kind of like we did with uh, with the uh, three sisters and get uh, roadblocked by uh, snow. So I'm going to wait wait a little bit until I can have a little bit further access uh, for the um, Mount St. Helens trip. I don't know when, but uh, we're looking forward to that here pretty soon. Kind of do a little investigating. See if we can't get super close up there. And... Uh, just observe and chat to a few folks, but uh, gotta wait. I mean, it's they still got snow up there. We haven't seen a drop of rain here in California all January or February, not a drop. So it sucks, it's not good. The weather has not been in our favor for ending the drought. And yes, I am going to cry about it because I live here and I don't like fair weather. I'm not a sunny weather type of guy, I love the uh, clouds and moisture. And the uh, convection uh, overall. I mean, it's just that's what uh, that's what life is all about, right? The storms, at least for me, anyway, uh, which is happening pretty soon. Be out there in uh, Oklahoma and Texas soon enough. Here with Missy Mimi's to do some uh, real storm chasing. It's going to be her first time going out there. Of course, I do it pretty much every year, so uh, be quite the experience to see how she likes those big. Uh, thunderstorms and the severe weather out there in the Southern Plains region. I think she'll have a blast. Have a good night, folks. Peace out.
Earthquake activity there continuing on the Barrett station. You can see on this uh, map right here, not a whole lot showing up though on the USGS map, but there's definitely earthquake activity uh, kind of squeezing the area down around the Barrett region, right around the uh, San Diego area, it looks like, on the uh, live seismograph. So uh, just a heads up down there, it's popping. Have a good night, folks. I'll chat to you a little bit later. Peace out.